Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the realest nigga of all times. Listen up, listen up. I'm bringing y'all right now the most popular build that was in NBA 2K20 that as a guard position took the least skill to use. Um, it made a lot of players on all levels of 2K. Comp, casual, people out here ISOing, never ISOed in their life. You know, they would stretch bigs, all these other, you know, and then now they just, they're just ISO gods now, you know, right? I'm finna bring that build to y'all, man. The offensive threat, the best version. I'm going to be showing y'all one for the threes, Pro-Am and Rec, and then I'm gonna be showing y'all one for the 2v2s, cause I think I need to start doing that with my build videos because some of y'all are just 2v2 heads and then it makes sense you have to have more defense. You can't rock with little defense. But yeah, I got y'all with that. So make sure y'all don't skip the video. I know y'all be doing that on build videos. Make sure y'all don't skip the video. Watch the full video. And yeah, man, I don't know why these, I, I'm seeing a lot of y'all, you know, be like, Swante, when I, when I be streaming, Swante, here's my build what do you think about it and it, i don't know where y'all are getting these one finishing one defensive builds but you, but you, you, gotta, you gotta stop you gotta stop what what the hell are these youtubers telling y'all it don't make no sense they just trying to flex the badges on y'all niggas get it together man but before we get into the video man make sure y'all subscribe if you know 300k on the way Hit that like button. If you're not going to be playing Park first day, come out with no badges and you taking your ass straight to my career. And comment your favorite build that you found so far in the demo. Anywho, so I've done extensive research. By the way, I made a different version of this build. I'm sorry I'm talking so much in the beginning. I just got so much to explain, bro. So first, I need to say this. It's very important. PG versus shooting guard for this build. The only difference is PG gets one extra finishing badge and shooting guard gets 20 more attributes. So do what you want with that. This build's gonna be able to get contact dunks, hall of fame and speed boost and shoot like a god, my boy. You know, we are gonna go left-handed. This is the pie chart we're going to go with for this particular build. This is the offensive threat, the most popular build probably made last year. One of the easiest builds to use I've made different versions of this with this with this pie chart you get hall of fame shooting and finishing but you don't unlock the contact dunks with this you get contact dunks if you want to see my versions of this build without contact dunk the 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 link is is in the description it's the floor spation slasher link whatever and but I, I did show a version that could get contact dunks with this pipe so personally this is the build right here not personally this is the bill. <laughs> I'm tripping. The pie chart. God damn. So to me, since you're going to have gold playmaking, I would go pure speed. Um, the only other pie chart I could see people using is the vertical pie chart. You, know, you lose a little bit of speed, but you get more vert. Personally, up to you, bro. I would go with this pie chart. So look, I'm going to show you a little trick, man. This is why I say don't skip my vids. I'm telling you, I am a genius. Now look, this will be the 3v3 Pro-Am rec version, comp version, you know, not the 2v2 version. You still can do it, whatever. But look, so look, you have 13 more attributes left, right? So you can personally put these anywhere and you will get an extra badge finishing, shooting, and playmaking. You see, you could put it here. You get an extra badge there. You could put it here. You could put it here. You can put it here and you can put it here so personally up with you how you want to rock it my boy since i'm gonna be playing 3v3s with this me personally i'm gonna go with the shooting since they already they're making you have gold shooting now instead of last year you could rock it and have contact dunks hall of fame finishing and shooting but I'm, I'm gonna just put the extra badge on here since your shit gonna be gold um you still should be able to get the fastest release we don't know what height that is but you know you get custom jump shot creator off rip so you know i just put the extra badge here you know up to you man burly always go burly with your builds with the height that we're gonna pick it's gonna make him look small if you're actually bigger it's gonna be more intimidating get better animations always rep burly 
If you go, if you're a part of the Burley gang that the Swan created, man, type type Burley gang down in the comments, my boy. So look, then you go six five six three. Look, listen, 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 listen. Do not ever make any of your builds under six three, bro. Six three is cutting it, my boy. Okay, that is super super small. A lot of y'all make builds with no defensive badges. You go short as hell. Look. I don't even like making a 6-3. Before this build, I'ma do it. Because you need as much speed and all that as possible since you're gonna be having gold playmaking and running point, and stuff like that. So I'ma pick 6-3 on this duel. The weight, we are gonna go 173. That's how you still keep your speed and acceleration 88. Now look, we can't go lowest wingspan, right? That's actually kinda good, you know? You know, play defense, get more steel, stuff like that. We can't go lowest wingspan. You're gonna want your driving dunk to be a 81, okay? So when you get your plus four attributes when you're 99, you unlock the elite contact dunks at 85. But if you just want the small ones, you know you could do an 80 and then you could get it right here. But you're gonna want the 81, okay? So we get four takeovers, my boy. Now look, the point of this build is to get contact dunks to be cheesy for it to take no skill. So you know Slasher. Me personally, I would pick Slasher on this build. Since you already now, or you could look at it as a different way, right? Shot Creator not even in the question, even though it's the easiest takeover to get. Um, you can still get ankle breakers with it. Everything gets boosted, more well-rounded. I, I wouldn't go with it for, for this particular version. Maybe the 2v2 version. Playmaking. Now it is going, you know, it has been as in a lot of these 2Ks, but you know, it could be deadly in the right hand. It takes more skill, more thought, more reaction speed. You know, you have to actually use your head a little bit. Now, what you understand as someone who's going to the rim, driving, you're gonna be demanding a lot of attention. So once you enter takeover, you're driving, people are not going to let you, you know, just keep dunking and getting layups and dunks on their teammate over and over they're gonna help off so when you dot your guy that's an instant dimer that's an instant green so it's like it makes them be like hmm i i have to stay on my man right or they still help you and then you punish them or you might just get an ankle breaker drop them three or you know it's, it's, it's up to you but if you're more worse i would go with slasher and yeah but like who knows if you can still get contact dunks this year without the slasher even though you have hall of fame you probably can but it's up to you and this is like a god ass takeover you know you could fade from three midi shoot you already have hall of fame um hall of fame finishing so you still can get contact dunks finish like a god and if they play off you your shooting stats is getting even bigger and bigger and then you're gonna have sharp takeover and then they have to guard you higher or low so they have to see it's, it's all about it's all about your thought man it's all about your thought and then you don't have hall of fame shooting so you know you can make up for it with the sharp takeover personally up to you but if i make this build i would be going for man it's tough man it's tough bro i'd be going for the contacts bro i don't know if you're trying to replicate the cheesy style i know they're trying to patch it you know they nerfed the build they're trying to patch the dribble glitch but if you I mean if you're trying to replicate it i would just go with slasher and this is what you're gonna be called my boy you're gonna be called a slasher i don't know why stephen curry is is <laughs> stephen curry is literally compared to everyone it, it, it is ridiculous now i'm gonna show all the badges i would pick and then i'm gonna show you the 2v2 version of this build okay so don't be skipping through my vids man and by the way if you ever want me to help you with your builds critique your builds just follow me on twitch my boy so with finishing i would probably rock something like this depending on if uh fancy footwork works or not we don't know you know what else you know it all it's all up to change but i probably go into it like this you know you could rock something like this you know and then you get the volume shooter and the hot start since you don't have Hall of Fame shooting badges, so it kind of makes up for it. Or, you know, you could do something like this if you're playing threes, and then it's just after 11, 12, or 13. I don't, I don't remember. Personally, personally, up to you, man. 
I would rock something like this. You could rock something like this if ankle breakers don't work or if unpluckables trash again. You could put it on ankle breaker or space creator, whichever one works best, or tight handles, whichever one works best. Who knows? Or you can make it gold and then have dimer, you know, silver and one of the ankle breaker badges. You never know. But I will let y'all know what badges are most OP next year. Okay, so me. You know, since you're going to be in the corner, guarding corner, stuff like that, I would rock something like this for defense. And you should be fine, bro. You should be able to get plenty of plenty of stops, man. I mean, you could have went with six if you want it and um, had gold rim protector. I get hella stops on all types of build, finishing builds, all that. If it gets kind of too deadly for you and you struggling to stop people in the paint with this build, you can put on off ball pest, you know, something like this. You know, I don't know if this combo will work better or silver rim protector will work better. You're going to have to uh, lab that. But yeah, man, that is this build, my boy. Okay, so for the 2v2 version, you know, you're going to pick point guard. Same pie chart, same physical. If you want the explanations for all this, you can watch it. Um, Watch what I say earlier about the other build. Now, this is the 2v2 version. You're going to want to rock with this with your attributes. Well, you got seven defensive badges, 13 playmaking instead of 15. And instead of five defensive badges, you got seven now. And, you know, yeah. You know, you got your interior up. Got a little bit of offensive rebound. Now, you could go more with this. But um, you're going to really have to pull something. Like, you're going to have to pull something. So, maybe you want to pull finishing. Maybe knock it down to 12. Get more defensive. I don't know, bro. Even if you knock it down to 12, it's it's not it's not it's not working, my boy. Like you really can't pull from anything. Yeah, so I mean I, I guess you gotta make it like this. You know, burly game. Now look, since you playing 2v2, bro, you can make them 6-5. That 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 would be ideal. You could play better defense, get more stops, stuff like that. It's up to you, bro. Um, 6'3", a little small for the twos. You know, you could go 6'4". The, the speed don't even change, bro. The speed stays the same. You just lose a... You just lose some strength by going up 6'5", which is weird. <laughs> what the hell? Um, Your ball handle goes down minus three, but... Damn, bro. I, actually, bro, you still got to make this nigga 6'3 because you want 82 ball handling. So you can still unlock 86 um, ball handle because the behind the back might be OP. Then you still want 81 driving dunk so you can unlock the elite contact dunks. That's crazy. You're going to have to be 6'3 with this, I guess. I mean, if you don't really care, you want the small, you could go 6'4. But, um,. I mean, then the speed boost. It's up to you. You could do other stuff if your teammate's going to run floor general. But without floor general and stuff like that, man, it's it's looking like you're going to have to make them 6'3". I would personally go like 6'4", 6'5". Well, actually, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't play twos. I wouldn't play twos with this nigga anyway. But, you know, just for the extent of getting contact dunks and speed boosting, I'm, I'm going to make him 6'3". We're going to make him 173. That's how you get, get the top speed and acceleration. Okay, so you get a, you get a little longer wingspan. It helps out your, your, your drive and dunk. But, um, you know, your ball handle, you want your ball handle to be 82, right? And then if you play bad D, you know, it, it can go down and stuff like that. But um, as you can see right here, you know, I, I think it's the best wingspan for, for this particular version. And bam, and you get the lock takeover. So I mean, I mean, hey man, hey man, I don't, I don't found a glitch in the matrix, my boy. You know. <laughs> so I mean, it's personally up to you what takeover you pick. What the? F Honestly, bro, since you're small, <laughs> bro, since you're small, my nigga, I would pick lock take. You feel me? It's going to really mess with people, bro. And then once you get locked, take, and you're already unstoppable offensive force, 
you know, you could really, you know, make up for your, your small height and your little defensive badges. Or you go slasher, stuff like that. But personally, bro, I would go with lock since I'm already 6'3". And bam, fuck it. Let, let's see what we get, my boy. And you gotta be a slasher! Baby Rose in the building. This is how I would rock it. Could rock something like this, you know, um, the volume shooter and hot start make up for not having Hall of Fame badges. You could rock something like this, or if unpluckable don't work, something like this, or something like this. All up to you, my boy, and what works next year. Now, for your defensive, bro, this is tough because we don't know what really is going to work next year, bro. Pick Dodger, if you can get away with silver, bro, then you could rock silver rim protector. I would personally do this. Um, Maybe if you don't need Intimidator, you could do that. Uh, Who knows? Who knows if Intimidator's crazy, you do this. All up to you. I think this will probably be the combo next year. Um, Yeah, for tools and low badges. But yeah, bro, I would rock this. You feel me? And um, yeah. Anywho, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notice. I done found other glitches in the matrix. But help me get in young and get recommended. Man, I can't talk. <laughs> make sure y'all sub to my new channel, Twitch, everything else in the description. Go watch my past build videos. I'm finding all types of glitches in the matrix. Anywho, I'm out this hole, bruh.